Hello dear students. Welcome to your science class. I hope you all are fine and enjoying good health. Dear kids, today we are going to discuss our chapter so many animals. Dear students, you might have seen many animals, some in your surroundings, some in the books and some at the zoo. Now today we will learn something more about the animals. Today we will discuss what are big and small animals, what are pet animals, what are wild animals, what are domestic animals and what are birds. Before we start, let's discuss the terms of the chapter. So our first term of this chapter is pet animals means animals that are kept at homes. Example, dog, cat, fish, etc. Now see kids, it is a dog. Maybe many of you are also having a dog as your pet because dog is a faithful animal. It guards our house. So people like to keep dog as a pet. So dog is a pet animal. Similarly, Fish and cat are also examples of pet animals. You can keep fish in an aquarium if you want to keep it as a pet. Our next term of this chapter is wild animals. Means animals that live in forest. Example, lion, tiger, elephant, etc. Dear kids, lion is the king of jungle. So lion is a wild animal. Same as tiger and an elephant. They are big in size and they are wild animals. Means animals that live in jungle or forest. Dear kids, can we keep a lion or a tiger as our pet? No, we cannot because they are dangerous animals. They can harm us. So that's why we do not keep them as our pets. So they are wild animals. Our next term of this chapter is domestic animals. Means animals that help us. Example, cow, sheep, hen, horse. Donkey, etc. Now see, this is the picture of a cow. Cow gives us milk and we make many milk made products with the help of milk like curd, butter, cheese, clarified butter, etc. So cow is a domestic animal because it helps us. It is the picture of a sheep. Sheep gives us wool. So sheep is a domestic animal because with the help of this wool we can make many sweaters, jackets, pullovers etc. So sheep is a domestic animal. Now we can see a hen. It gives us eggs. So hen is also a domestic or helpful animal. See there is a horse, a donkey. They carry our loads. So, horse and donkey are also domestic animals. Now we will discuss our next term. And the next term is birds. Means animals that can fly. Example, crows, parrot, sparrow, etc. They all are birds and they all can fly. So they are birds. Now we will discuss the difficult words with their meanings. And the first word is K-I-N-D-S kinds. Kinds means variety. V-A-R-I-E-T-Y variety. The next is T-U-S-K-S tusks. Tusks mean long pointed Teeth. Next word is V E R Y very S M A L L small. Very small. Very small means tiny. T I 
N Y tiny. The next word is different. D I F F E R E N T different. Different means not same. N O T not S A M E same not same. Afterwards, the word is insect. I N S E C T insect. And insect means a tiny animal with six legs. Now, dear kids, open page number eighteen of your enjoying science book and let's start reading. Lesson six. So many animals. Have a look on first line. There are many kinds of animals in the world. Underline word kinds and write down variety. V A R I E T Y variety. Some animals are big. Now let's have a look at some big animals. Now see, there is an elephant. An elephant is a big animal. The next is a camel. A camel is also a very big animal. Now a giraffe. A giraffe is also a very big animal. So they are the example of very big animals. Now come to next line. It is written, see my long tusks. Underline word tusk and write down long pointed teeth. Now let's have a look on this picture. It is an elephant and it has long pointed teeth which is called tusk. So an elephant has tusk and an elephant is a big animal. So above the picture of an elephant write down B capital B as your ma'am has written and we are writing this B because B is for Big. So an elephant is a very big animal. So we have written B above the picture. Now see here is written I can live in very hot dry places. Do you know which animal is this? Yes it is a camel and a camel is called the ship of desert. Do you know why it is called the ship of desert? Because it has broad padded feet. This four-legged animal can easily walk on hot and dry sand. So that's why it is called the ship of desert. And camel is also a very big animal. So above this picture, write down B. B is for big because a camel is a big animal. Now next is I am the biggest animal in the world. Now see, biggest animal on land is an elephant and biggest animal in the world is whale, a blue whale. So above this picture, write down B. Let's read next. Some animals are not so big, means they are not as much big as an elephant or a camel. They are smaller than them. So, the animals which are not so big, they are a cat, a turtle or a dog. So, on these pictures, write down S as for small because cat, turtle and dog are small animals. Next is, some animals are very small. Underline word very small and write down tiny. T I N Y tiny. So, some animals are very small means they are tiny. So, the tiny animals are a mouse, an earthworm, and an ant. They are very small animals. Now, come to page number 19 and let's start reading. Animals are of different shapes. They all look different from each other. Underline word different and write down not same. Means all animals are of different shapes. They don't look similar. They all are of different shapes and sizes. Now see this picture. Have you recognized this four-legged animal? 
Yes, it is a tiger, our national animal. Now see what is written on the book. This animal is a T dash 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 dash. Now it is written how many legs does it have? And you all know how many legs does it have? So you will answer yourself how many tails? Does it have two tails? Now think about yourself and then you will write down. Many animals have four legs and one tail. Now they are saying many animals have four legs and one tail. As earlier we have seen an elephant, a cow, a sheep or a horse. They all have four legs and one tail. Now read this. I have a long tail. It is a monkey and it lives on a tree. Next is I have four legs and it is a reptile. And do you know what is this? It is a lizard. You might have seen it on the walls. It is a lizard. The next is I have no tail. And this is your favorite animal. You can easily see this animal in rainy season. Yes, it is a frog. And a frog has no tail. The next is I have no legs. It is a snake. It is also a reptile. Now come to the next paragraph. Insects are tiny animals. Underline word tiny and write down very small. Insects are tiny animals means they are small animals. All insects have six legs. Some have wings also and the wings help them to fly. Maybe you people have seen some flying insects. Maybe you have seen a house fly, a mosquito or a butterfly. They all are flying insects and they have six legs. Now there is an activity which you can do and what is written there? There we can see. Let's read. Look at these insects. Circle the ones with wings means you have to circle only those insects which have wings. Now it is written this is called a P dash dash. How many legs does it have? Now it will be easier for you because already we have read that all insects have six legs. So it is easy students. Is it? Yes, it is. And the next insects are C. Grasshopper, cockroach, an ant and louse. Can all these insects fly? Count their legs. Now do this activity yourself. Dear students, this is all for today. Now read page number 18 and 19 twice. In our next session, we will discuss more about animals. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.